Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to uncap your FPS in Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, also known as Bedrock Edition. You can also do this on Minecraft Pocket Edition. It just takes a little bit more and it's basically the same thing. So if you have any questions about that or about this and it not working, message me on Discord. Our Discord server will be in the description below and you can message me through that. Or you can just chat and hang out on it. It's pretty fun and pretty nice server. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to your little search bar right here. Okay? Do percentage sign, app data, percentage sign. Just like that. And then you're just going to want to click on the folder. When you click on the folder, you want to you don't want to touch anything in here. Every, you, well, the only thing you want to click on is app data. Once you click on that, you want to go to local, scroll down until you see packages. Once you're in packages, scroll down just a little, shouldn't be that far down, and look for microsoft.minecraft.uwp. Click in that, go to local state, games.com.mojang, Minecraft PE. And then this is the file we want to edit. So it should say options.txt. You're going to want to click on that. So this is our options file. So you can edit a lot of things in here, but what we're looking for is we're looking for the vsync. So if we scroll down a little, like right here, it's going to be called gfx underscore vsync. There it is. Here's our file. So I currently have mine set to zero. What you're going to want to do is yours is going to be set to one see this is how yours is going to look like yours is going to be set to one by default this is when it's capped when it's capped it's limited to your monitor's refresh rate which is most likely 60 fps so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to delete the one and you're just going to want to put a zero and then you just want to go to you're going to want to just click file save exit out of that and exit out of that and then you're done that's all you got to do I can show you guys that my minecraft is running above the 60 FPS cap in one moment okay so just to show you guys nothing fishy is going on I'm not tweaking anything I have MSI afterburner open right here which basically will give me or it's actually called river tuner st statistics but, but it comes with MSI afterburner so I have this, I'm going to put it on my second monitor, or I'll leave it up here. No, never mind, I don't need to. So as you can see, I changed my GFX level, where is it, to VSync 1. I changed it back to 1 to see to show you guys what the cap looks like. So I'm going to launch up Minecraft, everything's still open, and as you can see, it's being capped at 60 FPS right now. Up here, it shows up in the top left corner. Um, it shows you what your FPS caps at. So I'm just gonna create a new world. Uh, sure, survival. And I'm gonna show you guys that this isn't just on the menus. This is actually capped at 60 FPS, and that's because my monitor only supports 60 FPS. But you can uncap it in the settings. So as you can see, everything caught up, and it's currently in 60 FPS. So this is just regular Minecraft. It's a little bit. There's a little bit of latency, but um. Yeah, overall, this is regular Minecraft. So what we're going to do, save and quit. This saves, and then we're just going to exit on Minecraft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to zero. This is what we did in the tutorial. File, save, and I'm going to leave that as that. I can also open it, but now that's saved, the GFX level is set to zero. The VSync level, at least. So... We're going to reopen Minecraft, and as you can see, it's uncapped. And now, it's not showing up as 60 FPS. Instead, it's showing up at 560. It's a little glitchy. It's here and there, but overall, I'm going to relaunch the world. Same world, and the FPS cap is off this time. So right now, I'm in the same exact world, and as you guys can see, I'm getting 100... It went up to 100 and um, 200 something FPS, but now it's just kind of ho hovering around 50 to 70 FPS. 170 to 50 FPS. So yeah, 
the Tesla because I'm generating more world right now. But if you have a better PC, I recommend you doing this because it really helps out. The only reason I wouldn't recommend you doing this is if you have a lower end PC or lower end PC and um, you don't want tearing as much because this could happen if you don't have a decent PC. You could get tearing in the middle of your screen. But yeah, as you guys can see, I just uncapped my frame limit and got almost double the FPS of at what it was before this can give you a pvp advantage and also an advantage on placing blocks in your input to lag because having higher fps also lowers your input lag in certain games so yeah i hope to see you guys in the next video subscribe to my channel bye